If you've done a lot of tire changes throughout the years, you've also likely done a ton of TPMS replacement and relearns. Currently, TPMS technology relies on radio waves to transmit data. While this is standard, unfortunately, it means the radio spectrum the sensors use can be noisy with other nearby devices causing interference. It's like someone interrupting you mid-sentence. However, Bluetooth sensors may be the answer to these radio wave issues. Let's talk more about why Bluetooth sensors may be the future of TPMS. Since being mandated in 2007, TPMS hasn't changed much. It still provides drivers with up-to-the-minute tire pressure data and depends on direct sensors installed on each tire. These sensors communicate with the vehicle's onboard computer to notify drivers of any pressure irregularities, all while relying on a connection via radio waves. Radio wave sensors have been the standard for all TPMS devices until Tesla began utilizing Bluetooth Low Energy, or BLE, technology in 2021. BLE sensors communicate using Bluetooth protocols, which could eliminate the need for wiring and other complicated sensor installations. Bluetooth could also allow drivers to access tire pressure info via smartphones or the vehicle's infotainment system. Imagine, through an app, checking tire pressure, getting instant alerts for low pressure, and viewing tire data accessible to you, the shop. This could also eventually allow you to reach out to customers via shared data from their tires to schedule tire-related appointments. Bluetooth TPMS could also enable remote diagnostics and repairs, reducing the need for in-person visits for certain issues and potentially adding a new revenue stream for your shop. Additionally, it allows over-the-air software updates, unlocking new features and capabilities over time for your customers. Bluetooth's two-way communication also provides cybersecurity authentication, which is crucial for today's vehicles, which are basically computers on wheels, protecting against potential hacking threats. One limitation with this tech is that the vehicle needs to be Bluetooth compatible, so older vehicles likely won't be able to use it. However, if a vehicle does support BLE TPMS, be prepared to service it. It's not that different from traditional TPMS. It can often be controlled and even reset via the vehicle's onboard infotainment system. After it is reset, perform a road test as you do with current TPMS systems after service. As vehicles become more technologically advanced, do your best to keep up with these tech trends in your shop. Follow the area's trends, and if you see more vehicles featuring this technology, train your techs and make sure the shop has the equipment available to service these new sensors. For more tire and service videos, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Christian Hinton, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.